While the rumors were only pointing at OpenAI and Apple partnership, this is completely a new shock for the entire world with Apple intelligence. So that's Apple intelligence with tremendous benefits for developers and users. This is AI for the rest of us. Personal intelligence you can rely on at work, home, and everywhere in between. Apple has officially announced its own AI that stands for Apple Intelligence, which Apple calls the AI for the rest of us. It is, according to Apple, the most personal intelligence that you can get. And I believe that this is truly a great direction, especially for a company that stands for privacy. I was very much worried that it is all going to be only about open AI in the latest WWDC worldwide developer conference 2024. But Apple made sure that it launches three levels of AI, three levels of Apple intelligence. The first level is the on device AI. The second level is a private compute cloud. And the third level is where open AI comes into picture. In fact, specifically chat GPT application with GPT 4.0. Along with this, Apple also made sure to announce something called App Intent. Even though they did not make a big fuss out of it, this is exactly what Rabbit or companies like Rabbit called as LAM, Large Action Model. So this is an AI driven app intent. So it, within the app, in the app, you can control something and that API is also going to be enabled for developers just to leverage certain parts of the application just simply using natural language. So let's dive into the three levels of AI, the three levels of Apple intelligence that Apple just announced today. The first level, the level zero is where on device AI comes into picture. We already know that Apple has got really good frameworks like MLX that are highly optimized for Apple Silicon computers. So Apple has said that every computer that starts from M1 and afterwards will have these AI capabilities where the AI capabilities runs on device. So for example, if you have got a document where you have written something and you want to erase it or rewrite it using AI rest in peace Grammarly, then you can use Apple's intelligence. In this case, everything is going to happen on device. The second level is where when you need some kind of an operation that is computationally intensive. For example, you can also send an emoji to your mom. I'm not sure how your mom will react if you send an emoji like this, but you can send an emoji, like generate an emoji on the go and then send it to somebody in iMessage and that probably would be a computationally intensive task and that might require more compute. So whenever Apple knows that it requires more compute, it is going to route your query to the Apple's private compute cloud. And the third level is where they have got chat GPT integration. So anytime you want to invoke chat GPT, Apple is going to ask you that, are you comfortable in sharing this information with chat GPT? Even though Apple promises that even when you ask chat GPT, your requests are not going to be logged. In fact, you don't have to sign up or you don't have to have an account of chat GPT to use these features. But if you have got chat GPT plus subscription, then there are additional features that you can use. But the third level chat GPT, which is powered by GPT 4.0 is going to be purely at an application layer level. And according to Apple, it is not going to send information or it is not going to allow open AI to log the information, which means your data is not going to be used or misused in a wrong way. So these are the three levels that Apple indicates how they might implement Apple intelligence according to them, which is the most personal intelligence. At its core, we can already understand that there is a router in place. 
this router is going to understand the intent of every user query and based on the intentions action that is required it is going to route to the l0 l1 l2 the on device system or the private compute cloud or the chat gpt system so it's going to route it to one of these systems and it is going to get you the response back and like i said along with this apple has introduced app intent so you can just go simply say something like oh can you book an uber for me to go from home to this place and apple knows i mean i'm not sure if it is already enabled with uber but apple knows that you are requesting an uber so it has to make a call to uber so that is what app intent is very similar like what rabbit said but apple also introduced something that is very interesting called semantic index so thanks to apple intelligence it has awareness of your personal context with its semantic index of things like photos calendar events and files plus information that's stashed in passing messages and emails like hotel bookings pdfs of concert tickets and links that your friends have shared Siri will find and understand things it never could before. And with the powerful privacy protections of Apple Intelligence, Siri will use this information to help you get things done without compromising your privacy. The Mantic Index is nothing but it's going to index, create an index of everything that you have in your iPhone or a computer or an iPad, and you would be able to search everything through Siri. So, for example, you can say. I want the picture of my daughter skating here at this particular place wearing this particular dress it can give you the exact image you can say can you give me the document that this person sent it to me a couple of days back apple's new siri powered by apple intelligence will be able to give this response back and if you are wondering what kind of technology it is you would probably already know this is nothing but rag ritual augmented generation they have created a vector embedding of all the items that you have got and they are feeding that into the large language model in this case which is successfully be able to give you whatever that you want to get so it's part semantic search and part retrieval augmented generation so at the core of it apple has successfully launched on device llms apple has also announced its own private compute cloud which is powered by apple silicon computers I'm quite surprised to be honest that they are running a data center with Apple silicon chips and finally they have got the chat gpt integration but these three are also going to power or powered by app intent and semantic index it's quite an exciting time if you have any questions let me know in the comment section see you in another video happy prompting